What is up guys, Jason Massey here and welcome to episode number one of Team of the Week Testing. This will be a weekly series where I'll be working with Lasty. His channel will be in the description below guys, make sure to go sub him and uh, go check out his version of this video. Uh, like Links will be everywhere across the screen and such. Uh, make sure to go check him out, go subscribe to him and all that good stuff. And guys, you can buy or sell on Team Coins, go check out FiefCoinTrades.com. Link will also be below in the description. Uh, but this is basically a series where we choose two or three, or even, because it can be more, uh, inform players from the latest team of the week. And uh, we have chosen the inform Eto and second inform Iguain. We then go ahead and make a hybrid. And uh, basically, it's kind of, it's not just a double player review. It's kind of the squad builder as well. And uh, I th really like the whole idea of this concept. Um, but yeah, go, make sure to go check out um, Tom's or Lasty's uh, version of this uh, video as well. Uh, his will be a different hybrid. And uh, hopefully you enjoy his just as much. And... Um, so I opted with a 3-4-1-2. And uh, this was, this team was quite hard to make. The fact that Eto and Iguahin, uh, Iguahin? <laughs> Iguahin was really, really difficult to, uh, part together. Uh, but I managed to make a pretty sick team around them. Uh, including a lot of informs and uh, quite, quite a few expensive ones, such as this Di Maria. Uh, I played him right midfield and I'm gonna get into the clips in a minute. Uh, but I can already say that he was wasted in that position. We also had inform Adel Tarapt. Uh, if we go for the team there, we had Joe Hart in goal. We had Anton Ferdinand at right centre back, company uh, in the centre. Then we had Hubakan at left centre back. Uh, left mid, we had Mark Gonzalez. Centre midfield, we have Axel Witzel along with Adol Tarapt. Right mid, we had Di Maria. And uh, obviously, our two strikers, Eto and Iguain. And our centre forward is Mark uh, Umbark uh, Busafa. And um, this team had got two five star skillers. And uh, everyone in the midfield up has got four star skillers as well. It's team cost me over a million uh, coins, so it's quite expensive. Uh, but in a second, we'll be going into the in-game stats of each player. And we've got a few things to talk about, uh, including the in-game stats, uh, my pros and cons of each player, uh, and obviously why I made, or like, what I thought about each individual player, and uh, what the actual team played like itself. Like, I didn't lose this team, surprisingly. Um, I, I think I played, like, five online games and about four friend matches, and I, only, I, I don't think I lost, or I didn't lose any online, I guarantee that. Uh, but here's Sammy Eto's in-game stats, got very, very nice ones, four-star skills, and it's got a lot of uh, like 80-plus uh, stats there, including that finishing, which is 95. Uh, that's probably his key stat, and Iguain has got 99 finishing, and, and for a striker, that is really rare on this game. Uh, it is his second in form, and I've never used his first in form, so I can't really judge him by that. Uh, we go into the clips now, and uh, the first thing I'll talk about, the in-game stats of Sammy Eto. He's got 95 finishing, which I believe, um, I didn't really see much of a difference between his normal... And is in form. Uh, he's got 90 shot power, 89 volleys, 91 acceleration. That 91 acceleration, I can tell. He is, he does seem a little bit faster. I don't, I don't even think he got a pace upgrade though, which is the weird thing. But he seems faster than his normal. Um, the next thing is the 92 agility. He has got very, very good agility at getting around players. 89 jumping in the air. I didn't really feel he done that much to be honest. Um, nothing too spectacular at least. And uh, 92 reactions. I don't, I think that's like getting onto loose balls. I think anyway. Uh, this is quite a nice guy. It's quite trampy, uh, but a nice little bit of skill with Iguain and then the Rabona cross with uh, Busafa. And uh, he's also got 66 strength, but I believe it's higher than that in game. Um, he costs 245,000 coins on the Xbox, 268,000 coins on the PS3. And uh, so I, his normal is about three, four thousand coins on the Xbox. Uh, so you're looking at an extra near 250k for someone that, in my opinion, isn't much different to his normal. Iguain, on the other hand, though, has got 89 dribbling, 99 finishing, which is his massive stat. Uh, 88 long shots, which I really feel it wasn't, uh, it wasn't correct, because his long shot was pretty pants for me. Um, he's also got nice two shot power. Uh, that could be true, like, when he's getting through one-on-one, -on -one, he can smash the ball near post. Uh, but there, then again, every other strike in the game can do that. Uh, also got 77 strength, which is okay. I think he's six foot tall, so he doesn't really need the strength as much. Um, then we've got... Four star skill, four star weak foot. They are very, very nice to have as well. 166,000 coins on the Xbox, 170k on the PS3. Uh, would I pay that for him again? Probably not. I wouldn't really. I, I'd, I'd take Benzema over him any day. Uh, or any other, say, Argentinian such as Palacio. Um, on, to the, on to the actual team itself, though. The 3 4 1 2 worked pretty well. Uh, were, were some defensive troubles at, at times, but the defense was solid enough and uh, maybe helped me win, win the games. Um, that my thoughts on general players, Di Maria right mid was a waste. Uh, when you're looking at 340,000 coins, that is a lot. And that is a superb goal from Mark Gonzalez. How that? Um, Mark Gonzalez is possibly my favourite left mid on the game. He's just out, he's insane. Um, the other thing, a solid defence. The left midfield is a god. Oh, look, this is Mark Gonzalez. He's a free kick. I was actually playing Toby late in here. And uh, he scored three goals. It's pretty good poor goalkeeping. But Mark Gonzalez was an absolute beast this game. And uh, finally, Joe Hart was a bit meh. 
But we're going to go on to the overalls and uh, the pros and cons of each player now. So there, there, we're going to go on first on to Eto. His pros, he's pacey, a good dribbler, strong uh, strong league, like Russian league, great shot power. Um, and his cons are he's, he's identical to his non-inform, which is 200k+. plus. Um, and his rate, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. And finally, we're going to go on to Iguain, And that is going to be his pros. Good finishing, good dribbling, four-star skills, good league and club. Uh, his cons, he's sluggish, feels slow. And he's poor in the air. Um, not worth the coins in my opinion. I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10, guys. So make sure to go check out Lasty's video. Uh, make sure to go subscribe to him. All that good stuff again. Thanks for watching the video. If you could drop a like, that would be awesome. Clicking that little random button on the screen will take you to a random video of mine. Or potentially Tom's. I'll, I'll link Lasty's video on that, actually. So thank you for watching the video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.